All right. Welcome to Palette Expanders, the next generation. <laughs> there wasn't a lot of enthusiasm no. behind that. I'll put some sound effects or something well, behind it. <laughs> We're on episode 11 now. Really? Yeah. That we did. 10 is uh, unreleased as of right now, but 10 oh, is cool. 10 is in already done okay. a long time ago. <laughs> The schedule for these is wild. So um, we're back with episode 11. Mm -hmm. Same show. I'm not even going to explain it because if you're watching this, you've probably seen it before. One would hope. I hope so. So we're going to get right into it. I have brought this mead right here okay. for our tasting see, today. Can you can see it. You're right just hanging out in the ether. <laughs> and BC has brought this mead right here. There may or might, might or might not be videos for these. We'll find out as this progresses. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and pour them. Okay. Um, okay, so yours is in the, my right hand. Uh, I'm gonna keep it this way. Right hand yours, left hand mine. Okay. Um, per usual, we're gonna do a quick aroma check on each. Right. So let's do yours first. All right. I will say they're very fragrant, just uh, pouring them. <laughs> it smells like meat in here. <laughs> it does, like, yeah. Like immediately. Yeah, uh, it's, like, um, it's like a medium bright, like clover, I'm not getting like a, I don't know, what's that kind of honey? I feel like I've, I've either had this honey before or I've had something super adjacent mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, you've been through a lot of honey. Yeah. <laughs> yes. As, as, as your <laughs> most recent video was uh, that big traditionals uh -huh. battle. A lot of but yeast is yeast, so just so you know, it doesn't matter what yeast you use. It's a big, big joke. That was uh, yeah, yeah. It's, there's it's, it's, it's only yeast. there's another YouTube channel that literally quoted that. I saw the video today. <laughs> said that. Oh, how incorrect that is. Yeast is one of the most important ingredients. It is. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, it yours smells great. It smells like a, a it lovely does. traditional mead. It does have a little bit of like. There's not like. I, w I shouldn't spoil it. Hot off the coattails of my video I finished today has a little bit of an earthy dandelion mm -hmm. realm. But I, but I don't pick up any like any fruit. No. Or like there's not like cinnamon or anything mm -mm. jumping out. It. Yeah, it's clean, clean honey, mm -hmm. which clean is nice. Honey. Yeah. All right, so switch over to my side. Very different. <laughs> very, very different. Very different. It's perfumey. Mm -hmm. Like like when you walk through the, the <laughs> she was walking through the perfume aisles at, like at Dillard's, you know, and like everybody cuts through Dillard's to oh, get to the movie theater. That's, yeah, that's, that's a real thing. And there's always somebody at the perfume station yeah. just <laughs> or, or someone like getting their lashes done. It smells like that when you walk through there. It is very fragrant. It's very perfumey. There is as it opens, there's a fruit note that's coming out in here, uh -huh. like. Uh, like a like a apricot, peach, nectarine, something in that stone fruit kind of that like that fuzzy fruit. Oh kind yeah, of uh huh. Realm. That's, I can see that for sure. Yeah, I pick up like apricots or peaches, like peach and rose maybe. Mm, okay. Huh. Smells great. Yeah. Okay. And BC's live. Audio <laughs> troubles uh, concluded. Okay. But, um. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with mine. Okay. This one. Yes. Left hand. This is mine. It. We're gonna taste it. Okay. Taste. So it's like a it's like an ocean spray like apple apple peach blend. You mm. know how they do those like blends where yeah. it's like apple juice and then they put some other <laughs> flavor in there. Some but fluff flavors apple in there. Apple juice is the carrier. There's not a lot of alcohol. Mm -hmm. There's, I mean, I would say also there's not a lot of honey, but yeah. there's sweet. Yeah. But it is. It was like a fruit bomb, like a juicy, like, like it should be in like a juice box with like a, <laughs> in the top. Yeah. Like it's, it's got that like lunchbox juicy kind of, it's good. It's hella good. It's almost, almost said what it was. <laughs> caught, caught myself. Um, no, I agree. It is very, I mean, fruit forward and heavy yeah. and I, I kind of like it. Um, you're right. There is a honey, uh, sweetness, but not like floral presence. And I feel like that. That's probably one of my big things that fix here. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I, I agree that to, to know that it was a mead, you do kind of want more of a floral character. But I don't want that to be misconstrued as this being unbalanced. Yeah. You know, because it tastes really good. Yeah. I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't spoil it. Let's, you want to switch to mine? Yes. All right, we're going to switch over to yours now. So here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is really opened up too. Ooh, 
There's a, this is thick. This has a lot of not body from oak, but honey. Like to me, it has a, not syrupy. Like I guess when you use enough honey, it becomes thicker. Mm -hmm. This feels like it has that, and it does have a lot of sweetness mm -hmm. pronouncing it. You're picking up anything notable in there. I feel like there is like a, a small element of like warm, warm spice mm -hmm. in there. And it's not like a, it's not cinnamon. It's not like a nutmeg to me. I can't, I can't figure out what it is, but it feels like it has a little bit of a, a subtle spice. And it could be from the honey, mm -hmm. as I've uh, spent yeah. a lot of time around honey. It's, sometimes it's very spice heavy. Yeah, so it could I, just I be like from to that. talk about, like, carrot blossom is a great mm -hmm. example of that. Carrot blossom honey has, like, a warm baking spice kind of flavor once fermented. Yeah, I definitely, I get that. It has a lot of sweetness. Um, it, it's, what's weird to me about that, you know, carrot blossom has also a distinct taste. Mm-hmm. When you have it, you're like, okay, this tastes yeah. like carrot blossom. Yeah. This one to me has um, a less descript honey character. Okay. A bit more neutral. More neutral, more wildflowery, more, um, I, yeah, neutral, I guess is the mm -hmm. best term. Yeah. But it feels like a traditional. I'm not getting any fruit. I'm getting that subtle spice. So there could be some subtle spice note in there. Um, if there is fruit in here, it is a very mellow fruit. <laughs> yeah. And it's not it's not a, a peach. Yeah. It's not a bright citrus, you know, it's a It's not something punching punching I'm in the trying face. To, and not, my brain's going through all the mellowest <laughs> fruits in the yeah. land. Both of these are very excellent. I guess it could be like a apricot. Mm. Like apricot is, feels like a mellow. Something lightly mm. fruited. Yeah. That's that, that's where I mean I need to have a whole list of fruits available to. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you've got that wheel of yours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Do you have any guesses? Oh man, this is hard. this one's actually pretty tough because yeah. I I know there is depth to it. Like I I, it, it very well could just be a traditional. You know, I and I don't know that we've ever had just a traditional could on be. here. I don't know that we have. Well, we've had a boche because we're always trying to outdo each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've we've actually never had a traditional, which is fun. Um. I I think that this is a uh, I just did a, a tasting for a guy who's doing a, a panel at MeadCon and he sent me five meads six meads with all wildflower honeys from upstate New York where mm -hmm. New Hampshire one of the I can't remember where it was uh, and they were all so different mm -hmm. I mean it was like and some of them were really fruity like just like you bite into a peach some of them were like i'm i got a piece of pine needle stuck in my mouth right now <laughs> yeah so like to me i think this is a traditional that just has some floral source with that a bit of spice characteristic mm. and i mean maybe a, a fruity note to it but i don't know where that would come from i don't know anything about that okay. so you believe this is a, just a traditional mead I'm not, it's, I'm having a hard time picking out a distinct fruit, to be honest with you. I have no idea what yours is. It's very good. <laughs> I'm going to guess that it's like, I know I said peach or apricot. I'm going to, I'm going to throw out there. I think it's like mango and rose. Okay. That's, mango I, and rose. I think that's almost definitely wrong. <laughs> but that's what I'm, I'm picking up. I'm, I'm getting some of those like tropical fruit that that like dry gritty tropical fruit not like a pineapple yeah but like a mango okay that, that it's how it feels on your mouth yeah but then there's something big and floral in there especially on the nose and i can it reminds me of rose petals mm. so that's what i'm going with okay the you way. ready to we're we ready to reveal yeah what is it you are spot on it's not rose but it's mango okay and it's a oaked mango mead that used i think it used blueberry blossom honey i gotta i don't remember exactly okay but it's the Vintner's Wine Base. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this. Okay. And, and what I love about what you just said, that you're able to pick up mango, because everybody, everybody who ever sees me use those or sees them is like, you are, you are of the devil if yeah. you even consider using mm -hmm. it. But to be able to pick up yeah, no, a tropical mango. I, I get mango in there. And it's like grocery store mango. It's not like some fancy thing you're getting from like the Asian market yeah. or some, something special. It's those like 
those like yellow mango chunks you get in like, <laughs> yeah. the Walmart freezer. That's that flavor. It's juicy and big mm -hmm. and rich. It made a pretty good meat, I guess. This one is going to either uh, Mazer Cup. I'm sending uh -huh. it to Mazer Cup or I think maybe Valkyries. I can't remember. Nice. So we'll see. Don't let them know what it is. Well, yo, this I don't think this will be out by the time those are. <laughs> It'll be a while before this video is out. Um, so if so, then you'll see my scores right here. <laughs> um, what's, what's yours? It's actually yours. <laughs> Oh, you left about a little. Over I a year almost ago. did this to you. <laughs> I almost did this, and I wish I had. That would have been so good. About a year ago, you left your February 2020 alfalfa blossom traditional at my house. Oh, and uh, you had this this goofy ass cork sticking out of the top. <laughs> of it. So right before you came, I capped. That's like, awesome. I uncorked and capped the bottle, and I like ripped off your label and put the sticker <laughs> over it. Uh, yeah, it's alfalfa blossom traditional. So you were right that it was a traditional, and you were right that it was kind of a neutral honey mm -hmm. that does have just a little bit of backbone of richness in there, yeah. which alfalfa does. In <laughs> that is, that's fun. <laughs> I, that is, this takes me back to my first mead tournament where I was by myself tasting sixteen meads. That uh -huh. I was blind, and I was like, "They're all mine." I got so many things wrong. <laughs> I was like, "This is my whatever mead," and then yeah. I was like, "This isn't it." So. All right. You know, this an extra was, year of age on it? Talk about a plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> no, when, when you texted me and asked me to do this episode, I was like, what can I get that's like really going to challenge him? And I saw this bottle sitting on top of my wine rack, and I was like, this is the time. You didn't like this one. I remember vividly, <laughs> you did not like this one at the tournament. Do you still not like it? I think it, it turned out to be a pretty okay meat. I think it's still a little bit hot. Yeah. So I think a little bit of time will... will bring the edge off a little bit. I think it could use a little bit of tannin balancing. Yeah. Just to to stick the mouthfeel a little bit more. But it's just like a table mead. Like if I was gonna sit down and I don't know, have like some salmon or something. Uh -huh. Salmon and asparagus, this would be a great pairing for that. It's it's light, it's delicate, it's uh -huh. honey forward. I got a little go. turned off from alfalfa honey after this mead. Hmm. Because of I I don't know, it just turned out weird. It is aging better. Mm-hmm. I'm but gonna finish this bottle off tonight. I, <laughs> I want to run back at it and do it again. Another traditional. I didn't oak it. I recall vividly. Yeah. So I was I was right in that it does doesn't have any tannin from oak. It's all just honey. It was literally just yeah. a bombshell of honey. And it could use just like a little bit more to to bring some of that that cling to yeah. the mouth feel. But overall, I mean, it's two years old. <laughs> Man, I wish I almost brought a bottle tonight to do this to you. That would have been so good. Wouldn't I recognize oh. the yellow cap? <laughs> I well, I would, yeah, I would, I would do probably do the same thing. <laughs> so, well, okay, well, you, this feels like the Ashton Kutcher, like, <laughs> Got <him>. prank, pranked. <laughs> Maybe that'll be in the thumbnail here. <laughs> um, I'm really proud of you for getting almost exactly what this was. Yeah. It's well done. I, Your palate has been expanded. Fun, fun fact, that <laughs> the same incident happened to Faywood Mead at Mead Stampede. Our mm. steward brought forth uh, one of her meads as yeah. like just a like a funny like in-between um, thing. She was like, hey, you need a, a palate cleanser real fast and gave mm. her one of her meads, unbeknownst to her. And so she's tasting it and she's like, I like, what? I feel like I know that, like, going all about that's it. Funny. It's, it's fun. That's that's kind of cool. I enjoyed getting to do that. So yeah, but, I, I'm impressed. <laughs> well done, man. Well, what I mean, it, actually, both of us were, yeah. were. Oh yeah, I was gonna say when once you got the stone fruit mango, yeah. you were right on it. So yeah, I was I was kicking around because as it as I drank it and as it opened up, it was like this is moving from peach and apricot into a tropical realm. Yeah, and then yeah, mango just was right where it stuck. Very well. Cool. All right. Um, <laughs> just, okay, it's just so funny to me. We're going to be back with uh, more content soon, especially more palate expanders. Um, if you want to check out Doing the Most, you probably already have, but if not, go check out his channel. It's in the description. It'll be up there, one of the places. Somewhere. And uh, he's making mead and brewing content um, all the time. It's great stuff. So go check him out. And we will see you next episode. So cheers. Cheers. <laughs>